Welcome to Physics for Good, I'm Allison Boley, and today I want to talk about wave pulses and continuous waves. Now what I'm going to do is give you three examples of each and see if you can tell what the difference is between them. Often the term continuous wave specifically refers to an electromagnetic wave like light. But to contrast it with a wave pulse, let's broaden the application in the next examples. So if we remember the definition of a wave, it started out by saying a wave is a traveling disturbance, and the disturbance part is the part we're going to focus in on. So a wave pulse is a single disturbance, and a continuous wave is a periodic disturbance. And remember, periodic means regular and repeating. Did you get it right? You might also say that another example of a wave pulse is a bark. <coughs> and another example of a continuous wave is a howl. <coughs> Which leads me to the Arizona Basset Hound Rescue. I was lucky enough to watch this guy get adopted, and I spoke with Dr. Sharon Novi, pediatrician and president of the rescue. Um, the Arizona Basset Hound Rescue is a 5013C corporation, and what we do is we take in um, Basset Hounds, Bloodhounds, and mixes of both, um, either from the shelter or owner surrenders, and we um, take care of any medical needs that they may have, and then hopefully try and adopt them out to their forever homes. Some dogs have complex medical needs or are very old and no one really wants to adopt them. And so those stay in our foster homes and we call them forever fosters. And the rescue maintains their health needs until they pass on so that they're comfortable in whatever time that they have left. Sure. Um, the majority of the funds that we raise go toward our vet expenses. One interesting thing about pets in general, but especially Basset Hounds, is that um, research, medical research has proven that people who have pets um, are healthier. They have lower blood pressures, they have less incidence of depression, suicide, um, and it makes sense because it is a stress reliever. Um, we've even seen benefits with children, um, reluctant readers, uh, libraries have programs where they bring in dogs and have the children read to dogs because they are um, somebody who doesn't judge them and it encourages the kids to want to read when they're otherwise struggling with them. So we're going to demonstrate that with Larry today. That's right, Larry Fitzgerald. I've read to him from Flash the Amazing Basset Hound by Stephanie A. Sorensen. Flash came with great energy, all black, brown, and white, wide awake only hours, yet snores through the night. Yes, yes, I know. You have to pay attention, Larry. Flash has a sad face that hangs close to the ground, and he barks howling cries like a true basset hound. His short legs may slip at the corners when he turns, showing excitement to us as he knocks down the ferns. Because this is Physics for Good, 50% of the ad revenue generated from this episode will go to the Arizona Basset Hound Rescue. Other than just watching this video, how else can viewers support you? Um, they can go to our website, which the link is included. Um, we have lots of events people can attend um, with or without your dog. Um, and you don't have to have adopted a Basset Hound from us to attend any of our events. Um, we also do restaurant fundraisers, so sometimes, and we always publish those on our website where people can attend and have dinner and a portion of the proceeds can come back to the rescue. Okay. Cool. We're always looking for volunteers for foster homes, so even if you don't, you're not ready to adopt a dog um, and are willing to foster one for a brief time period, we're always looking for fosters. Awesome. Thanks for watching. If you like what you just saw, please consider subscribing right here and sharing the video with a friend. Also, check out the video description where you'll find a link to the charity you just saw as well as some affiliate links.